how viewers hope everyone is fine today to, in today's video i'm going to show you how we can create uh, how can design a questionnaire in Kobo toolbox in different languages maybe let's assume that uh, we want to design in english then it can be translated in swahili arabic uh, spanish chinese so let's start our video so what we're going to do, we're going to come to our Cobol Toolbox uh, platform and then uh, we're going to create new. Yeah, so in creating new, we're going to say start from scratch. So maybe learning. Learning languages. Language description, maybe languages. Then select sector. Oh, sector. We're going to say maybe private sector, country Uganda. Uganda. Then click here. Then create create project. So once we have done creating project, what we're going to do. We're going to first type them in English, maybe what what's your name? It's going to be type text. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? This is going to be number. This is number. Uh, then, uh, then, uh, can make me select one. Oh. Then we also maybe animal. This can also be a select one. So yes, no, not sure. Then sex. So let's use an example of these five questions. Hope you can see them. So what we're going to do, we're going to save our form. After saving, let's try to view our questionnaire. Try to view our question mark. Okay. Let's um, so we have our form here, learning languages. So what you're going to do, you're going to come. You see here, yeah? so learning languages, you come here, more actions, and these three dots, you click on more actions, learn more action, then you come to manage translation. So once you click on manage translation, they'll bring you this dashboard here. So what we're going to do, we're going to say English. English. 
then you will put also a code for English, which is which is it. Then you say it, and then once you're done setting it, I will show you that it is saved. Then you can also add another language, maybe Arabic. Arabic. Then you say maybe R. Also, we go to Swahili. Since it's the most uh, used language in Africa, Swahili. Then you remember it's a sweet. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do, we're going to come to maybe Swahili here. So we shall copy and paste using Google. So what you're going to do, just type, uh, I mean, highlight your, what you want to translate, come to Google, translate, Google Translate. Let's say Google, Google Translate. Okay. So what you're going to do, let's put here English. English to Swahili. So here we paste our 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 word. What's your name? It will be translated, and then we just come to we come to our Swahili translate part, and then we just paste. Then how old are you? We we'll do the same thing. How old are you? What are you? Okay, country of birth. Birth. Are you married? Then six. Then Uganda. So something like Uganda, it will just automatically remain like that. Kenya, it will not remain like that. USA, it will not remain like that. China. So you make sure that you translate each and everything. So yes, it's Leo. Not sure. Not sure. Then uh, no. Apana. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hope you can see this. Then I don't know. Okay, so we save the changes. After saving, we can we can cancel that. And then we also still come. We want to put it in Arabic. We go to Arabic. Manage translation. What's your name? So here we shall change to Arabic. Arabic.
So you continue, you continue doing that until, until everything's done. Yeah, so I think we can say that we have come to the end of our translation. So finally, that is it. So we can also save. Yeah, so after saving that, we still cancel this, then uh, our next part to be to, to deploy our form. So once what we do, we just click deploy. Sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, so once we try to redeploy the tool, you can see here the tool is deployed. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy our, our form and then uh, Let's try to press it here. And then we see how based it will look like. Sorry. Okay, so I want you to view here very well so that we can see how best this is done. I want to see, I want you to see these forms. So here, the form is still loading because I'm trying to do it online. Let's wait for it. So finally, this is our interface. You see this form is in English, so I can type my name, I can put maybe my years, I can click Uganda, I can say yes, email. So this is in English format. So once I come here, I want you to view very well. Once you come here, you can see choose language. So when I click here, I'll find the language that I have used eh, to design my, my tool. So when I go to Swahili, I click Swahili, you will see automatically it will change. It will change. You see? Everything will, will be changed. But once I click again in English, this one can still remain the same. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel because uh, more videos are coming that are so helpful on your side. Otherwise, I beg to stop here. Thank you once again for watching. Share with your friends so that they can make the perfect data in AFA. Yep.